Hello. Now I will show you how to install IS7 with command configuration via WebPI3. I just downloaded WebPI3 from uh, Microsoft.com slash web. So I'm just opening it. You see it's downloading the new, the latest products and at the spotlight you will see IS7 command configuration. I just select it and click on the add. Now you see the it says one item to be installed. If I click on it, I've s I will see the dependencies like IS static content, IS default documents. These are the uh, recommend configurations. You see? Okay. Now after I say add, I just simply click install and I say I accept of these and license terms obviously now now you see the it's installing IS components it's one out of fifteen uh, this is actually another kind of uh, installer like to this one as you see if you say manage and if you go to the roles and if you say the add roles no, no, yeah if you see it's it's installing right now like web server common HTTP features it has installed already yeah you see says congratulations you have successfully installed the following products finish and I say exit now if I go to add role services I can see what is the recommend configuration you see uh, we see do some basic features in here but if you want to use HTTP redirection so you can click on it also if you want to use ACP or CGI you can choose them too you know the CGI is important for PHP and if you install CGI you can use PHP as a fast CGI so these are important also I'm looking to basic authentication if, if you want to uh, add some extra security to the directories like uh, putting your username and password so you probably want to uh, install this one right so I'm looking to another uh, feature called dynamic content compression so this is the good one too yes let's select that too and you see IS management scripts and tools is not uh, selected it's not installed this is for actually for PowerShell you know if, if you install this too you can use PowerShell for managing your IS and and you see the FTP FTP is one of the important uh, feature for uh, web server you know if if you want to upload your files uh, to this server uh, you should probably install this one too so let's select them too and I want what's this allow web server to be managed remote from Android. yeah this management services uh, for remote uh, management so I don't need this because I don't have any other servers and I don't need any uh, other servers actually so I just choose them and say next so you see I will install these ones 
and it's now installing Installing, still installing. Yeah, you see, it actually, uh, WebPI is a really simple tool to install IES. Uh, it shows you the best options, best features. Let's click close. Now, uh, if I type INET MGR. So you see we have IS7 with default website so you show uh, how we can install IS via WebPI and how we can modify uh, IS features with uh, server manager it's really simple it's really easy so this is the basic features if you want to change or add some extra features like URL rewrite you can use uh, WebPI again but I will show you them at the next chapters thank you